today's first uh, 2024 vi video is uh, my Columbia 100th anniversary countdown from January 1 to January 10, and the first of which is Spider Man. The 2002 film that I reviewed in 2021, but I decided to do another review for the 100 years of Columbia Pictures. Uh, this is stars Tobey Maguire as Spider Man Peter Parker. And it's the origin story of Spider-Man, of how he got his powers, and how he becomes Spider-Man, and how he lost Uncle Ben, and his first enemy, Green Goblin, played by Green Gob, played by Willem Dafoe. And he, had, and he has a long-time crush on Mary Jane Watson, played by Kristen Dunst, and best friends, Harry Osborn, played by James Franco. And... I really enjoyed this film. I think Tobey Maguire is like the best Spider-Man in live action because he captures Spider-Man very well. As both Peter Parker and Spider-Man. He is both he is very entertaining as Spider-Man. And very good as Peter Parker too. I really enjoyed his, his, web, swing, his web swinging scenes. Like the first one where he tries and fails a lot but succeeds. Until he gets hit, and then later he saves everyone, which is a lot of fun. It reminds me a lot of this ones from Superman 1978, which I forgot to mention in my Warner Simber, but they're like the best, my favorite scenes in the movie of Superman 1978. And 2002 Spider Man does similar things and very cool scenes in the movie, but Spider Man vs. Green Goblin is very entertaining. Especially when Spider-Man was saving the day by saving MJ and the other children and everyone in the town uh, is stopping Green Goblin from attacking Spider-Man. And Kristen Dunst is a very good MJ. Dunst, she did a good job as the role. She has the look, she has the act, and, and she has some good interaction with Peter. And... The cars, she she became interested in both Spider Man and Peter Parker after kissing Spidey and upside down, and then kissing Peter at the end. And kind of noticed something interesting when he she kissed Peter Parker at the at Mama's funeral. And James Franco was pretty decent as. As Harry Osborn, Willem Dafoe is very uh, amazing at screen going. It's like one of the best Marvel villains, not from the MCU. And he is one legit baddie because he has two types of minds. His normal mind, but the Green Goblin mind where he tries to do evil, sinister things. And his costume, while it's very, very different from the comics and video games. It's very scary, but a very cool, awesome costume and interpretation of the character. And like I said, the action in this movie is pretty legit. I do like the style of how the movie was edited because there are some shots that like edited out like a comic book brought to life. And it's very cool and stylish. I really like how the movie is edited out. and stylish it is and the credits does is that similar style too of all the spider dna relay stuff honestly i think spider-man having actual web swinging powers and not like web swinging shooters is a much better because it makes more sense because spider shoots webs so it feels weird that spider-man doesn't usually have webs coming out of his hands but Toby does. And I really like this score from Danny Elfman. It's very action packed. It's very awesome to hear. And it's very superhero like. And of course, J.K. Simmons is it's perfect as J. John Jameson. He has the voice, he has the personality, and the look. He's like the best performed character in this movie alongside 
uh, Willem Dafoe as a Green Goblin. Like, I like Toby, Kristen, and James, but Jane, John, and Jason, and, and Green Goblin steal the show in this movie. And Elizabeth Banks is, is, is a, has a decent, brief, small part as Betty Brent. And, and the costume of Spider-Man, like the human spider costume, is, is a decent, uh, outfit that he, he wears before wearing the Spider-Man costume. And the Spider-Man costume that he wears is very, very legit. It's perfectly captured the look that we all know and love. And there's a, like a second brief you'll miss Stanley cameo and a brief appearance of Bruce Campbell. And, and of course, Uncle Ben's death is quite hard. Breaking and and he was kind of part the rest of the movie, especially the with great power comes great responsibility. And I really like the wrestling match too. It's very fun with with Spider Man beating the bone the champion Bone Saw and tries to win money but didn't. And so yeah, what do you think of two thousand two Spider Man? Did you did you grow up with it? Do you enjoy it? Do you like it? Let me know. So that is it. Peace out. Bye. On our first day of 400 years of Columbia.